Hi students, this is lesson 33, session 1, on classifying two-dimensional figures. We're on page 717 in your volume 2 math book. Look at the shapes below. Put a check mark on all the shapes that have at least one pair of parallel sides. So here's our first step. So let's stop here and do this one first. Parallel means that they are like this. They will never cross each other. So we're going to put a check on all of them that do. So this one does because of here and there. This one does because of that and that. A square does. Oh, a triangle doesn't. Everything crosses. But E, this one does have. Put a star on all of the shapes that have at least one pair of perpendicular sides. So perpendicular is like this, it makes a cross. So if these corners keep going, they do have that. Um, these ones cross over each other, but they don't cross exactly like this. They cross at an angle. The square does have it. Triangles cross over each other, but they cross at intersecting. And these cross over each other, but again, they are intersecting. Okay. Explain how you could test your choices. So, um, we could test by, for parallel, we could measure the distance between lines and for perpendicular we can see if the two sides <coughs> excuse me form a square in the corners Okay, so these have squares and we can measure. This one does not have a square, but we could measure. This one has squares and we can measure. This one doesn't have squares and we can't measure. This one we can measure, but it doesn't have squares. Let's turn to page 718. So taking a look at this, um, shapes with straight sides such as triangles and quadrilaterals are types of polygons okay so these are all types of polygons but they're not all quadrilaterals that's a good thing to pay quadrilaterals have four sides so you'll want to pay attention because like this rectangle right here I'm sorry this triangle right here is not a quadrilateral and quadrilaterals is something that you should have learned quite a bit about in both second grade and third grade. But all of them are polygons. And when you have polygons, you can sort them in different ways, depending on what you're trying to find out about them. You will have questions on the map test about these, so it's important to you know, pay attention and to think about the different types of shapes whenever you're working with them. This says you can sort them by the number of sides the shape has, the relationship between the sides, or you can also sort them by the type of angles that they have. And if you look in your instruction, you're going to see a couple of different things. You'll see a quadrilateral tree, um, a couple of different quadrilateral trees to determine if it's a quadrilateral or not. But always remember that quadrilaterals have four sides and there's different types of quadrilaterals like this is a rhombus this is a square and this is a rectangle but this is not a quadrilateral because it has more than four sides and this is not a quadrilateral because it has three but all of them are polygons so it says which shapes have at least one right angle well A and C which shapes have at least one acute angle? These are all right. 
These are all obtuse. These are all right. These look like they have acute, and that right there looks acute. So D and E. Which shapes have at least one obtuse angle? These are all right. This one has obtuse. These are all right. And over here, it's kind of hard to tell, but I don't think, oh, that looks like a right angle. And those are both acute angles, so that one doesn't. But over here, this right here is an obtuse angle, so B and E. So first we, um, on the front page, we determined, we classified the shapes by the types of lines they have. And on this page, we determined by their angles, what type of angle they have. But our vocabulary again for today is polygon, and we know that all poly, these are all polygons, okay? So what do we know about polygons? Well, we know that a polygon could be a triangle, a rectangle, um, it could be a shape like this, it could even be a weird shape. But what is not a polygon is a circle. Circles are not polygons. The definition of a polygon is a closed, flat shape with all straight sides. So a circle does not have any straight sides. That is why it's not a polygon. But all of these shapes do have straight sides. That is why they are polygons. Which shapes are polygons? Does this one all have straight sides? Yes. B does not have straight sides. C has all straight sides. D has all straight sides. Oh, take a look at E here. E is not closed, it's open. See that spot right there? So because that is open, that means E cannot be a polygon. It has to be closed. Just like it says up here, a closed shape, but this is not closed, it's open. Let's turn to page 720. Look at the shapes below. Put a check mark on all the shapes that have at least one right angle. Okay, right here, this looks like a square, so we'll put a check. Those don't have squares. That one's a square, so check that one. That's acute, that's obtuse. These are all obtuse, okay? Put a star on all the shapes that have at least one pair of parallel sides. Well, it only has three, so it can't have parallel. This and that are parallel. This and that are parallel, this and that are parallel, and this and that are parallel. Explain how you could test your choices. So I can determine parallel by measuring the space between lines, I can determine right angles if the corners make a square. That's it for session one. I'll see you back for session two.